Shooting great video is so much easier these days with all the amazing cameras that we've got. 2K, 4K, 6K, raw formats, but it's all about color. People want to take what they shoot and they want to create an environment, a look, a feel that they want to have on their movie. So color correction is normally something that can really make a video editing application just come to a crawl. But in Premiere Pro and SpeedGrade and with an NVIDIA GPU, we can use the deep color engine, the Lumetri deep color engine from SpeedGrade in Premiere Pro and now in Media Encoder. So there's no limit to how many stacks and layers of color correction you've got as long as you've got acceleration with a great GPU. So I'm going to show you on my system here, I'm using an NVIDIA Quadro K6000 card to, uh, to use the, the Lumetri color engine. And a new feature in Premiere Pro uh, called Direct Link where we can go back and forth in between SpeedGrade and Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. Here I've got some clips that were shot on different cameras and I'm going to focus right now on this particular shot and this look right here. I want to color correct this and I want to do it in an environment that's built for fabulous color correction and that's speed grade. So to get this Premiere Pro timeline into speed grade, I simply go to the file menu and choose direct link to Adobe speed grade. Save my file and it opens it up and there we are. So now I've got all of my control inside here, including scopes, 32-bit floating point color, all set, ready to go. Now I'm just going to go back to that same clip and we're going to add some of the new film stocks we have inside here. All right, so let me just find that same clip. You'll notice my scopes are all live. I've got all of my controls down here, my uh, trackballs, my wheels, layer stack, all of that stuff. But I want to focus over here on the amazing film stocks that we have. So to apply this film stock, I just click on it and apply it and it shows up over here. And if I turn this off and turn this on, there it is. And I can show you that we can support uh, several different film stocks that ship with uh, speed grade. They're actually something you can add in Premiere Pro if you wanted to uh, at the same time. So everything I'm doing here inside speed grade is accelerated by the GPU, not just all the stacks of layers and color correction, but the whole user interface is being accelerated. So how do I get this back into Premiere Pro? I'll show you. Up here in the top left hand corner, this little button that allows me to direct link back to Premiere Pro. Click on that. Again, it's asking me to save that. Opens up in Premiere Pro. I'll click on that and you can see that even though I've got a little render line there, that red line might seem like I have to render this. No, I don't. I'll just hit the space bar and play that and you can see it plays perfectly. In fact, if we go up to our effects controls, you can see the Lumetri Deep Color Engine is applied here as an effect. So I can turn that on and turn that off. I could even apply this as an adjustment layer to the whole thing if I wanted to. It's just an amazing way to work now and it's accelerated by the NVIDIA Quadro K6000 that we have in this computer. And uh, like I said, there's there's no limit. I just put one color correction on here, but I could have put a stack of things in there, vignettes and uh, different looks and all these different blooms if I wanted to. They're all accelerated. They're even accelerated now in Adobe Media Encoder. So if you apply this in here, anytime you run this in a Media Encoder, it will um, be accelerated. In our effects, you'll notice that we have a button over here and I can look at all of my accelerated effects. So I'm just going to hit my tilde key and open this up so that we can see all of the accelerated effects inside here. And the one that we really want, I'll just type in Lumetri and you can see there's my Lumetri color engine effect completely accelerated so it's really easy to see that inside here. So. Like I said, it's easy to shoot amazing looking video, but we want to be able to tailor the color and create something that looks new and different and emote. So next time you need to get your color correction on, make sure using the Lumetri Deep Color Engine and some GPU acceleration.